Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to solve one very very interesting question from radical equations for the real values of x. So let's get started by writing our equation square root of we have x here. I am going to use algebraic manipulation and I will write x equal to x minus 1 plus 1. Then we have 2 times square root x minus 1 plus square root of x. We will write x minus 1 plus 1. Then we have minus 2 times square root x minus 1. RHS is 2. Now x minus 1 we can write square root x minus 1 whole square. Then we have 1 which we will be writing 1 whole square. Then we have 2 times square root x minus 1. We can write 2 times square root x minus 1 times 1 plus square root of again we will write square root x minus 1 whole square. This is x minus 1 this term only plus 1 we will write 1 square minus 2 times square root x minus 1 times 1 equal to 2. Now if I will assume square root x minus 1 is a and 1 as b then this is a square plus b square plus 2ab and this is a square plus b square minus 2ab which we can write a plus b whole square and here we can write a minus b whole square. So we can write our equation square root of square root x minus 1 plus 1 whole square plus square root square root of x minus 1 minus 1 whole square equal to 2. Now we know that square root a square is mod a. Let me write here square root of a square this is equal to modulus of a or absolute value function of a so i can write our equation mod of square root x minus 1 plus 1 plus mod of square root of x minus 1 minus 1 equal to 2 now i will assume square root of x minus 1. Suppose this is equal to a. So for real x, a must be positive. So this is our condition on a. So I can write our absolute value function equation mod of a plus 1 plus mod of a minus 1 equal to 2. Here we have Two critical points minus 1 and 1. Let's draw a number line where we will demonstrate minus 1 and 1. So there would be three intervals or three cases. First case where a is less than minus 1. Second case where a is in the interval of minus 1 and 1. And third case we will consider where a is greater than 1. So let us use equality also. Now first case would be rejected because our condition on a is a must be positive. So we can cancel our first case where a is negative only. Now we will begin with case 2 and case 3. Let me write here. A is lying in the interval negative 1 and 1. And our equation is mod of a plus 1 plus mod of a minus 1 equal to 2. 
Now in this interval, if we will assume minus 1 to 1, so we can cut short this interval because A must be positive. So instead of writing minus 1 to 1, I can also write A should be greater than 0 or equal to 0 and less than 1. Now for this interval, if I will consider, then mod of A plus 1 would be A plus 1. And mod of A minus 1 would be minus of A minus 1. This mod would be negative, equal to 2. Or we can write A plus 1 minus A plus 1 equal to 2. Now we will cancel plus and minus A. So we are going to get 2 equal to 2, which is always true. So we will consider the result from this case. A should be greater than or equal to 0 or less than 1. Now a was square root x minus 1, less than 1, greater than or equal to 0. Now we will consider squaring. We will get x minus 1, greater than or equal to 0, less than 1. Once we will add 1 to our inequality, we are going to get x should be greater than or equal to 1, less than 2. So result is x should be greater than or equal to 1 less than 2. Let me write here greater than or equal to 1. In this interval we are going to get real x. Now our case 2 or last case we are going to consider which is a greater than equal to 1. Let me write our equation mod of a plus 1 plus mod of a minus 1 equal to 2. In this interval a greater than or equal to 1, our both mod we will consider with plus sign. So a plus 1 plus a minus 1 equal to 2 plus 1 and minus 1 will be over. We are going to write 2a equal to 2. After dividing by two both sides, we are going to write a equal to 1. So from this case, we are getting a equal to 1. Now what is a? a is square root x minus 1. If I will put equal to 1, I will be writing here x minus 1 equal to 1. Once we will take a square both sides. Now we have to add 1 to both sides. So I will write x equal to 2. So we have in total these two results. One from case 2 and second is from case 3 x equal to 2. We have to consider intersection. So I can write x is greater than or equal to 1 less than 2 and from last case x equal to 2. Once we will consider intersection of these two cases, we are going to write our final answer. x must be in the interval 1, 2, 2. End point included. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.